thinking to create a new prop for my boat. The propeller skidded across the road with the motor, so it's got some damage. So I'm going to start with some 7 16 collets since the 7 16 fits the shaft of the trolling motor. Okay, after a little bit of tweaking with the design, I've come up with pattern. I think that'll work. Let's put a twist to it, weld it on. So I'm going to use an old saw blade as NFG and I'll cut my blades out of that. That'll be nice and solid. Twist them to shape, weld them on there. All right. I was going to trace them out on that saw blade. I found a couple thin pieces of metal. I think I'll try these out first. See how well they work. If those work good, then I might make a permanent one using the saw blade. Give it a shot. Okay, after cutting the basic propeller shape with my zip disc, I'm going to take it to the bench grinder and uh, refine it a little bit. Clean it up. Cutting both halves at the same time. That way they're going to be mirror images. There we go. Alright, after throwing a little bit of bubblegum welds on there, I can clean them up. Clean everything off. See if I need to touch up any of the welds. And then I can bend my prop into the proper position that I want it in. But I got a nice steep angle because my motor is going to run a slope piece. I want it to still be able to move the boat even though it's just putting along. Well, I'm sure those that are experienced in uh, working with propellers and making propellers would have noticed earlier on in my video I welded these damn things on backwards. That's the reverse. So if I were to run that motor, it'd be pulling me backwards, not forward. So, back to the drawing board. Let's start again. Well, goes from that to that to that. Getting them all cut up, ready to go. Got myself some new collets. Marked it out with a pitch going the right direction this time. Uh, while I'm on there. And then we'll try it on the motor and see how she works. I got that set up with the magnets. On the angle I want. This time I made sure it's going the right direction. So I'm going to tack weld that in place. Make sure everything is square and true where I need it to be. Hey, there it is. It's just some tack welds. Fits on the shaft quite nicely. Clears everything quite beautifully. Now I'm gonna finish up the welds, put my twist in the blades the way I want it to, and uh, grind her nice, make it look pretty. Paint it up, she should be good to go. Alright, there's my new prop. Since I built it, cleaned up the welds a little bit, tighten it on. Now let's give it a spin. See what she looks like. Filled up. Let's 
see how hard that is to start with it in the water to start with and uh, see what kind of water it's going to throw. that through a little bit of water. I'm glad I got a waterproof case on the GoPro. Recording? Okay, give it a click. I'll give it a little pull. Well, you need the other too. soaked your tripod bottom you're gonna need to dry that out. Yeah. <laughs> did you tell that them, was fun. Did you tell us that?